Hello and welcome to Cordell Estimator Platinum. In this video we're going to show you how to navigate the platform, get started with a quote, search and add construction data to a quote and also how you can contact our support team for training. Let's start with an overview of a home page and an estimate page. This is where you create your estimates and store them and if you have other users using the system you can view company estimates as well. We have a database page. On the database page this is where all the databases are stored where you can add to your estimates. We have a templates page. This is where you can create and merge your estimates over to your templates and really speed up your estimating. Then we have a supplier page. This is also for requesting prices from set suppliers. Well, let's start an estimate. We'll click on estimates, click on add an estimate. We can type in the name of the estimate here, and then we will click on the save button. Once this becomes the active estimate, this orange line here, this means any of the data that you add will land on the estimate page. Let's go and have a look at the estimate page. So a good place to start with the estimate is to create a work area. Let's start with something like site prelims. We click in the required field here. We can start to type. And we can choose a predetermined site prelims as a category. Very easy to activate. This is a work area heading. We'll click on the orange plus button. We can also use this line as a custom price. For example, let's click in the required field. We'll use an external custom line. You can choose a category and even type your own as well. We need a description. Quantity of one, a unit rate, it's an item, and just click on the orange plus button. Now it becomes a price line. So for example, the door might be $5,000. But let's go and add some data to the estimate page. If I don't click on this as set to active, that means anything I add to the database will follow the categories on the left here in sequential order. But for this example, I'm going to click on set to active. That means anything we add to the estimate page here will land beneath that line. Let's go to databases. So on the database page, and for example, what I'm using is the housing from the fundamental detailed estimating database. And as you can see, everything is in construction sequence from start to finish. And any database, you can combine different price line items. But for example, we, what we're looking for is site prelims. What we might even add first to say temporary protective fencing hire. What we need to check is what the description is and also what the item is. And also remember our pricing for our recipes are broken into labour, material, plant and subcontract in the first principles method. So we want to put protective fencing hire in. Very easy to add it to an estimate. We click on the orange plus button. Highlight so we've added it to the estimate. Click on view estimate as the active and you can see the line item has landed on the estimate page. All we need to do is add our quantities. Then what we can do is we can go back to databases and start to add more line items. We can also use the search function here. And if you see on site prelims, I still have some more items I can break them down and find for my site prelims and add to the estimate. And from the estimate page, what we can do is we can scroll down to the add overheads box and from the drop down here we can choose things like overheads, profit and we can add the amount in and choose a percentage or dollar from the drop downs. We can also add our location cost factors in here and from the within reports, whatever's in this box will take the amounts here and distribute it throughout the whole estimate. You can also choose to separate it and if you do a within report and you decide to tick the box here, whatever you tick on the box will stay separated from the rest of the estimate. And once we've got our estimate and we've completed, what I'm just going to show is an example of an estimate with more line items here. For example, we have a full detailed estimate with different work areas, all our line items and our quantities filled in. 
Now for a tutorial on how to use PlanSwift and Estimator Platinum, see our other tutorials. But for example, if I want to be able to get this closer to doing a report, I can go back to Estimates. I can go into Project Details here, and I would click on the Add button. Or if I want to edit them, I can click on the Edit button. If I go into the Job Details, I can easily add information about the report for the quote. I can also type in the site address and all the contact details or quote details and then I can add them to the estimate by clicking the plus button. To go back to the estimate and create a report, we click back on estimates, we click on the view button on what estimate we want to do a report on. So once we finish the estimate, what we need to be able to do is run a report. So what I'm going to show is a fairly simple report, which is a cost summary report. So we'll click on the generate report here, choose the drop down, let's choose client details. We'll go over to the charges, let's choose within. This will distribute whatever's in the eight overheads box down the bottom throughout the estimate. We can choose to take our company logo. We can download to Microsoft files, or for this exercise, let's do a print preview. And you can see here we've got our company logo, all our details, the project details, and also the total. And we have throughout the estimate a breakdown of the categories, descriptions, and the quantity type and the unit type. But let's do a more extensive report. Let's do a job details report. We can choose our charges within again, add our company logo, we'll do a print preview. And from here we've got the same setup, our total, but now we have a breakdown of the categories, descriptions, quantity type unit and also the unit rate and the totals of these but this is more of an extensive report in a job details thank you for watching how to start an estimate and to create data and to go through and do a cost summary report if you'd like some further training and one-on-one -on -one training we can click on the support icon here and you can fill in your subject contact details and message and request some one-on-one -on -one training online Thank you.